encouragement to all of us uh, to do more, uh, because uh, as you yourself put, uh, uh, the level of uh, contamination, uh, the level of uh, by uh, unexp uh, uh, explosive remnants, of course, uh, the level of uh, destruction and the needs to rehabilitation, rehabilitate and reconstruct are big, and uh, therefore our task uh, uh, here is to uh, assist you even uh, more vigorously than before. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم استقبلنا سعادة يان كوبيتش ممثلة الأمين العام للأمم المتحدة بالعراق طبعا مجرد زيارته إلى الموصل بالتأكيد هي رسالة تبعث إلى الاطمئنان وهي رسالة استقرار وبالتأكيد نحن نرحب به ونأمل أن يكون حضوره يؤدي فيما بعد إلى تقوية وتعزيز التواجد الأممي في الموصل. Well, thank you very much for welcoming me here and uh, for uh, also a very productive discussion uh, that raised a number of important uh, points uh, uh, that will guide our uh, engagement as the United Nations in uh, support of the people and uh, the authorities of uh, Mosul uh, of the whole of Nineveh province in the coming uh, period. I can confirm that indeed this will guide us in our work in the future uh, and uh, indeed uh, I hope uh, that soon we will be able to uh, open uh, our uh, direct presence uh, uh, as the United Nations here uh, in Mosul uh, to cover the whole Nineveh province. We would like also to uh, help uh, in restoring the uh, quality of Mosul and Nineveh as a microcosm uh, of uh, different groups, uh, uh, different religions that were able before to live together in peace and harmony, in good coexistence, and uh, we would like to preserve this character as much as possible and to assist you to preserve this character of Mosul and Nineveh in the future. follow on the uh, uh, different uh, points that are raised by, for example, civil society, but also competing political forces uh, uh, as regards uh, the uh, security of the elections. So we also contact the respective bodies, and that was the motivation of uh, uh, my visit here and uh, of my briefing. What is the security situation, what are the security conditions for the forthcoming elections? بما يلي ذلك من ضمان مشاركة واسعة اللي أحيانا قد يصير الانتخابات في نينوى والموصل وشكرا First of all, I am grateful to uh, uh, the chairman uh, and uh, uh, to uh, the whole uh, uh, provincial office of IHEC uh, uh, for uh, being welcome here for the briefing, uh, but notably for all the immense efforts to make sure that uh, people uh, uh, can go and vote. Uh, uh, that uh, indeed uh, uh, the maximum number of voters uh, can participate uh, freely in the forthcoming elections. <laughs> Yeah, 
are uh, included this uh, yes yes exactly. yes it's included that. Uh, first of all, it's solidarity. Solidarity of the whole world. You represent you, Africa, the whole world. Uh, solidarity that should express itself in the future for in support for everything that you are going to do here in the old city, in this complex, but beyond for returning back to normal life. Yes, Secondly, right. to get strength and encouragement from you, uh, that those that are behind this destruction, those that are behind the savage, they can never prevail. They have no chance, because I see Doctor here, who is who is who is documenting this for for the future generations, and now these documents will help the future generation to restore everything. Uh, you that are trying to rebuild from this rubble, heroic forces that came and liberated and will achieve security. Sunivak that is trying to do the best support reconstruction and rehabilitation. This is giving us also encouragement as the UN to help you because we see the determination on your side. Huh? What do you mean?